Welcome, Modern Day Mystics fellow Truth Seekers, James and Justin, back again with another reaction. And we are going to be continuing our series on the 10 avatars of Vishnu, done by Hindu Saga. We are now on the fifth avatar. Uh, we've got the Vamana avatar. So let's get on into it. Dashavatar represents the ten different incarnations of Vishnu, which were taken to save the earth and its living beings from destruction. This video will narrate to you the story of the fifth incarnation of Vishnu. To know all about the ten avatars of Vishnu, watch the playlist linked in the comments below. Despite being an Asura, King Bali was a pious man and was a devotee of Vishnu like his grandfather Prahalad. He had become so powerful that he had acquired all of the Prithvi Lok, the earth. During his process of empowering the Asuras through his might and penance, Bali was ready to conquer the other two Lokas as well, Swargalok and Patal Lok. Indra feared that the Devas were becoming incapable of defeating the Asuras under the leadership of Bali. He feared if Bali conquered the Swargalok, the Devas would be forced to leave their abode. Therefore, the Devas reached to Vishnu for help. One day, the Brahman Bhamana reached the court of King Bali requesting for charity or alms. It was a custom in the court of Bali that no Brahman would leave his palace empty-handed. So the king was more than willing to offer the Brahman anything he desired. Upon questioning his needs, Vamana said that he wanted land measuring up to three steps of his tiny feet. But Bali urged the Brahman that he was capable of giving him more and insisted that he asked enough that he would never have to ask anything else ever again. If I were not satisfied with just three paces of land, responded Vamana, I would not be satisfied even with the whole universe. If I got one island, I would want others. It is better to be satisfied with whatever destiny brings, for discontent can never bring happiness. In this way, he hinted that Bali should not have set out to conquer the whole universe because it would never bring him happiness. When Sage Shukracharya, the guru of the Asuras, heard these words from Vamana's mouth, he knew in that moment that it was none other than Vishnu who had come to trick the king. He immediately warned his disciple King Bali not to give anything to the Brahman as it was Vishnu. Bali asked Vamana to measure his three-foot sized land and it would be given to him. Then Vishnu in the form of Vamana began growing his size. He grew and grew until he filled the whole universe. Everything was within his form, the earth, the sea, the birds, beasts and human beings and all the planets themselves. Bali saw everything that existed in the wonderful form of the Lord. His feet was the surface of the earth. His breath was the wind, his hair was the clouds, and his eyes were the sun. He then lifted his foot to measure three steps. In one step, he measured the whole earth under his feet. In the second step, he covered the Swargalok. Vamana, in his gigantic form, asked Bali that he had covered the earth and the heaven in two strides. Now there was nothing left in the universe that could satisfy his demand of the third foot of land. But since Bali had promised him three foot of land, it was his duty to fulfill his promise. Bali was defeated. But in all his humility, he requested Vishnu to come back to his original form of Vamana so he could fulfill his promise. Vishnu accepted his request and returned to his gentle form of a dwarf. The king then asked Vamana to put his third step on his head, thus surrendering everything he had even himself to Vishnu. Vishnu, pleased by the devotion and sincerity of Bali, gives back everything to Bali except for Swargalok, thus ensuring his devotees' prosperity and also the welfare of the Devas. Well, you'll never have everything. It seems to be a theme in a lot of the videos that we've been doing this week about <laughs> being uh, kind of content. You look like you're, you're in a content present moment right now. 
<laughs> Are you confused? In the eyes, I noticed that so many characters have like extreme relaxation in their eyes. Like, you know, like everything is like so settled. Yeah, even when the crazy stuff's going on, they're like, you know. Yeah. And I always admired that, the, that look of ease or that look of just serenity or something, you know. Yeah. I mean? Can you pull it off in a storm? I've heard of some gurus like, I, you know, sat through a tooth extraction and didn't even mm. feel it. Mm. Didn't even feel it. When does um, it become a city to, to appear always content and peaceful? You yeah, know I mean? superpower. And like, I'm just noticing the difference between somebody that's like fighting for their life and their eyes are open. They're trying to take in as much information as they can because it's so serious. And somebody that's like, I can afford to not see the top half of my eye. Yeah. I can be resting nicely, gently there. Is there, is there, uh, like, is it valid though? Like, is it real? How do you know if it's real? Like, because. I it's to me it's all about control right the person who's panicking trying to like make everything you know the way that they want to be versus the person who's total surrendered and not well, give it there's only way to find out give it a try you can yeah. you can sit there and auto hypnotize yourself prime yourself give yourself a good few hours auto hypnotize yourself to being like an extreme relaxation then if you're feeling extra quirky go meditate in the public park yeah. how long will it be before it's like and you're like <laughs> You know what I mean? And somebody's like, what are you doing? Oh my God, weirdo. <laughs> we, we like, we keep these things for like celebrities that are their whole city is like, the, I've never seen him lose his cool. Oh, you know, yeah. people who like have dedicated their life to like a magic trick of not being that way or somebody who's hiding in some kind of like religious place, you know, where yeah. it's like, we're all going to pretend to be this way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're right. What What is the reality or some story, which by the way, I thought, you know, how did, did some of these stories, how did they all come about? This is something maybe somebody could point us to in the, yeah. in the comment section. Like were some of these stories like, uh, revelations that happened, like so-and-so was on a mountain and this story came to him was, was somebody drink some Soma or something mm -hmm. and like have visions of the, like all the, where did the, all the stories come from? Was it, how many yeah. people wrote them? You know, yeah. if you guys could point some of that stuff out to us, yeah. which some of you may have already. No, it's a, it's a good question. A lot of these avatar, uh, that we're seeing here is a lot of it is about like rescuing humanity from destruction. And each of them has like, it's each individual quirk. This one here was about like, I think being satisfied with what you have being present and so if it is about saving humanity like it's that maybe that ch we could learn something about that chasing constantly chasing av oh, after yeah. something that yep. that might be the human demise is the thing of like never being satisfied constantly trying to get to somewhere you know and looking for better more materialism or something like that and it could sometimes be our people switch sometimes the guy that for the first half of his life did nothing he was a layabout and he was like, I've mastered layaboutness. Yeah. In the second half of his life, he gets a fire under his butt and he's like, I got to do something. I'm going to go start a business and like get real motivated. And the guy that was a wonderkin that's been making businesses since he was four is like, I'm going to dedicate the second half of my life to like taking it easy. Yeah. Maybe gain some wisdom, sit around, start a following, you know, yeah. bring people to me and I'll tell them some stuff. <laughs> Which tends know. to happen anyway. But everything in its perfect mm. time and everything with like as much honesty as possible possible please yeah well we'll wrap up this one we are halfway through this series now hopefully you guys are liking it if you are don't forget to hit the like subscribe share this with a friend and everyone until next time stay spiritual, spiritual.